We're here at Wicket 2012 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Ms. Magdalena Gai, who is President of the National Regulatory Authority of Poland. Magdalena Gai, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you for the invitation. Hello. Hello, and very good to see you again. I'd just like to start off by talking about uh, this conference. In your opinion, what is the most important issue discussed at this conference? You know, uh, the treaty is uh, quite old, uh, so I think that uh, we should uh, adjust uh, its regulation uh, to the uh, technical um, uh, reality, which is uh, developing uh, very uh, quickly. But uh, in the same moment, uh, we cannot uh, broaden uh, its scope uh, on the issue uh, connected with the uh, internet governance. Uh, it is very important, I think, for, for this uh, conference. This conference uh, should deal with the technical issue uh, connected with the uh, telecommunication infrastructure. Uh, because, uh, as, you, as you know, the modern telecommunication is very important for us. Uh, it gives us the freedom uh, and we should put uh, any um, limitation on it. Uh, the young people uh, from place around the world, from a small village, um, can use um, the telecommunication, modern telecommunication, the internet, to study in uh, in Great Britain, in France, anywhere where where they want uh, to to develop their pa patients and enjoy communication in other people, and of course for the country, uh, the the rapid development of the telecommunication increase uh, on GDP help us, and of course uh, the new modern telecommunication help us uh, in um, fight against uh, poverty or employment because it is um, very important when we are talking about the internet you can work uh, the e-work e is very 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 important so I think that this uh, two issue we must go with the time because the treaty is very old but uh, we can uh, sco broaden its scope to the internet governance now, there's been a lot of attention to the detail of the wording that's been going into this treaty. And in fact, last week uh, there was a, a particular sticking point. Uh, I just wanted to ask you, why was Poland so keen on adding a reference to the human rights protection uh, in the ITR's preamble? Uh, you know, uh, simply we can say that uh, today the technology determines the communication. So, uh, therefore, even this uh, technical issue uh, can uh, have uh, room, uh, human rights implications. It is very important. Uh, it can, what I mentioned uh, before, yes, uh, when we are thinking uh, about uh, modern telecommunication, about uh, internet, uh, we always uh, should have in mind uh, human rights because the freedom is very important. And uh, this, what, what means this our proposal? We would like uh, put in the preamble the sentence that all uh, member states should take into account Account when they will implement the ITRs, uh, human rights. Because, you know, many propositions were many countries, the democracy is different uh, in many parts of the world. So we are thinking uh, about all citizens uh, which won't uh, have access, full access to the internet. It is very important. And uh, I think that this sentence, it is the voice uh, for our observers, yes, because before the conference uh, there was many rumors about uh, this conference that it will be the some uh, two internets, the national internet and the global internet. And I think that uh, it can be um, this signal uh, which could save this uh, conference. So it is very important for us. I'd like to ask you in your opinion, what's the European view on the revision of the ITRs? What are the regional priorities and needs when it comes to a revision of the ITRs? And will Europe, do you think, be willing to make a good compromise on them? You know, uh, EU member states have their own harmonised regulation in the area of the telecommunication. Therefore, we don't know, uh, we don't uh, need uh, the all ITRs regulation and it is the reason why sometimes uh, somebody can say that European are very tough and uh, 
uh, don't want to go ahead, yes? It is not true. Uh, we don't need this regulation because we have it. But we understand the needs another region uh, when we are talking about the telecommunication, that they won't have the same for example, the regulation of the roaming, we have it from five years, it is very good for our citizens. And I understand that another country from the around the world would like to have the same regulation about the roaming because it is very expensive for our citizens. Uh, the same um, uh, quality of service uh, disables um, the multimate uh, uh, telecommunication. It is very important and I understand this. Or you European country understand this situation and I think that uh, in this area we will have a compromise because uh, if we no don't need it, it is not the same that another region don't need and we understand it. It is clear for, for Europe, but of course we have red lines. Uh, this uh, internet governments, fragment of the internet, the national internet and the global internet and the free, freedom in the internet. Uh, for the Europe, uh, very important uh, is that we would like uh, to have the ITRs respecting the privacy rules uh, and freedom of communication and it is our goal. Thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much.